In this video, we will understand some important properties based on LCM and HCF. Let's start with the properties of LCM. If L is the LCM of numbers A and B, then all the multiples of L are divisible by the number A and B. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Consider two numbers 4 and 8. LCM of 4 and 8 equals 8. Let's consider 40 as a multiple of 8. Therefore, 40 is also divisible by both 4 and 8. LCM of fractions is equal to the LCM of numerator divided by HCF of the denominator. Consider two fractions as 3 by 2 and 4 by 3. LCM of these fractions will be equal to LCM of 3 and 4 divided by HCF of 2 and 3, which equals 12 by 1 or simply 12. LCM of two or more numbers is never smaller than any of the given numbers. Consider 2 and 4 as the number, therefore LCM of 2 and 4 equals 4. Moving on to the properties of HCF. If number H divides number A and B, leaving same remainder, then number H divides the difference of the numbers A and B. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Consider two numbers 21 and 46 are divided by number 5, leaving same remainder as 1 in each case. Now the difference of numbers 46 and 21, which equals 25, is divisible by 5, giving remainder as 0. HCF of fractions is equal to the HCF of numerator divided by LCM of the denominators. Consider two fractions as 3 by 2 and 4 by 3. Now HCF of these fractions will be equal to HCF of 3 and 4 divided by LCM of 2 and 3, which equals 1 by 6. HCF of two or more numbers can never be greater than any of the given numbers. Consider two numbers as 4 and 8. Therefore, HCF of 4 and 8 equals 4. So this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.